Words like hero and legend often get a little bit overused in sport, but for today's guest, they seem a bit inadequate. His name is synonymous with the sport that he came to dominate, and he's arguably one of the finest drivers that this nation has ever produced. And he owns all of this. So what will former World Rally Champion Colin McRae have in his garage? I'm lucky enough to have been invited to the McRae estate deep in the heart of Lanarkshire for an exclusive tour. Colin, it's great to see you. Morning. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. No problem um, at all. Just what have you got in your garage? Uh, there's uh, numerous vehicles in the garage. Uh, this one's not in the garage, but it's definitely one of my favourite cars. There aren't that many around. Yeah, no, it's obviously a pretty rare piece of kit, and uh, especially this one. This is one of the three prototypes that were ever built. What did they call this? A 22? 20, 22B. Right. Yeah. This is a hell of a run around. That's great fun. I mean, the only problem with something like this is you end up getting into bother because it just invites you to be a hooligan. Well, this hooligan won the World Rally Championship in this 2.2-litre, 276-brake horsepower Subaru Impreza 22B. So did you buy this off them, or did they give you this for winning the championship? No, I had to buy it. I've got a good price. There's no such thing as a free lunch, is it? Exactly. That really hurt, especially being Scottish. <laughs> Colin didn't always drive for Subaru, but he was always a motorsport hooligan. His first rally car was given a hammering on the pro circuit, and amazingly, it's still intact today. I mean, to anybody else and anywhere else, if you told someone you had to talk at Sunbeam, it wouldn't really mean much. But in the rally game, this is a bit special, isn't it? Yeah, this, this car is the first car that I ever had, first rally car. So obviously, it's got a lot of special memories. So how old were you when you were driving this? 17 years old. Wow. Just a couple of years ago. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Listen, one thing I have noticed, we Honda bike. That was my first competitive machine. This? Yeah, when I was uh, 12 years old. No. Started in that and then moved up to a bigger machine after that. Was there any chance you were ever going to compete properly, professionally on two wheels? I would, yeah, I mean, I would have loved to do it, but you know, my mother was very much against it. Yeah. She certainly supported me a lot more when I turned my attention to four wheels. Um, you didn't show me this. The, well, I was trying to hide it. It's not, uh, it's not in great shape at the moment. What is this? It's an, one of the original factory Sierra Cosworths. It's a car that myself, my father and Alistair drove. No, all three of you? All three of us, yes. Yeah, so it's got a a fair bit of history to it. And it was a British Championship winning car with my father. You know, it's, it's basically laying here waiting and renovation. It's not as tidy as it will be, but everything is original, which is the main thing. They mean a lot, don't they, cars that you've driven in, especially this one, if Al's been in it and your dad as well. Yeah, yeah no, it's, a, it's, a great, yeah, it's a great piece of motorsport history. Yeah. And it is still a yeah, full, genuine car. But just in case you thought Colin had gone all soft and sentimental on us, there's still plenty of fight left in the old dog yet. Here's a sight for you. This is Colin McRae in his natural habitat. Colin is now a test driver of some of the world's most exciting vehicles. This is a core, a one-off prototype that Colin's putting through its paces. It's designed to go on any surface, and he's powered by a Suzuki Hayabusa 1300cc engine. And it shifts! You were enjoying that, weren't you? I was, yeah. The core buggy is just more or less off the drawing board. This is the, the first one, so it's a bit of experimentation. So you, you're the, uh, the test pilot then on a prototype, is that what it is? Yeah, you think it would get more sensible in old age. <laughs> what sort of speed are you coming off here at? Uh, probably, guess, about 60 miles an hour, but it's, uh, it's quite a steep ramp. Prepare for takeoff. Prepare for takeoff. We're logging some airtime. Who needs the World Rally Championship, eh? <laughs> <laughs> 